As districts continue to figure out what school will look like in the fall, a grim warning from one of the country's largest COVID-19 testing companies. The turnaround times for testing could be severely delayed in the months to come. 41 Action reporter Ariel Rothfield explains why you may have to wait to get your results. Every day, it's a parade of people trying to get tested for COVID-19. And every day, there are folks who have to be turned away. Because we've run out of tests at, at those locations. The demand for testing causing a delay in turnaround times. In Kansas City, the health department says the average turnaround time has jumped from three to five days to five to nine days, comparing the testing process to a funnel. We can increase the top of the funnel as much as we want by offering more testing. Um, but if we're not dealing with the bottom of the funnel in terms of um, the number of labs and the capacity of labs to process those tests, then the, the funnel is just going to get backed up. Which is expected to get worse in the fall. Quest Diagnostics is one of the largest laboratory companies in the country with a lab located in Lenexa. Through a series of emails, a spokesperson tells 41 Action News the company anticipates a surge in demand during the autumn flu season, but will not be in a position to reduce turnaround times with currently available technology, writing, this is not a quest issue. The surge in COVID-19 cases affects the laboratory industry as a whole. We're not going to test our way out of this crisis. Um, and even though the, um, the initial results on vaccine um, discovery are, are promising, um, that's not going to be here in time enough for it to ensure that schools can safely reopen. To avoid delays in both test results and schools opening, the health department says getting community spread under control is key. Given our trend line right now, yes, unless we, um, unless as a community we're able to really bend this curve, um, really get folks to wear their masks, to um, maintain social distance, eliminate unnecessary gatherings and, um, and socializing um, and, and really get the community spread under control. Yes, we will continue to see increases going into the fall. Reporting in Kansas City, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News. And today we checked in with Johnson County Department of Health and Environment. It reported massive delays in testing turnarounds earlier this month. A spokesperson tells us labs are back on the five to seven business day turnaround schedule. 